this video we're going to be talking a little bit about the harmonic series both in music and in mathematics so notice that the p series with p equals negative one is special for a couple of reasons first when we extend the domain to all positive numbers its antiderivative is a logarithm rather than a power function second it is the smallest power that results in the sum uh, diverging making it kind of the dividing point this particular series is called the harmonic series as its name suggests, it has something to do with music. The underlying harmonic sequence is given by a sub k equals 1 over k. That is 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth, and so forth. So here's how we connect it to music. Suppose that we take a string that vibrates at a pitch of, say, low C, and we call that string uh, length 1 unit. What happens when we shorten the string to lengths given by the harmonic sequence? So in other words, if we place our finger right in the middle of it and just vibrate half the string, we produce pitches that are in that ratio with the original pitch, which we call the uh, fundamental. For example, shortening the string to half the length produces a pitch so that the original fundamental frequency is half the frequency of the new pitch. In other words, the frequency of the pitch is doubled. So when we shorten the strength to one third of the length of the original, the fundamental is one third of the frequency of the new pitch. The pitch is tripled. When we double the frequency, the notes sound so much alike that we give them the same name. We'll call them both C, for example. Doubling the frequency results in an interval that we call an octave. Partial numbers are the denominators from this harmonic sequence. And so in the following notation, which is uh, music notation, these are the partials. Okay, and this is the harmonic series in music. Okay, and uh, notice that the notes corresponded to uh, 1 over 2 to the k, or, or just 2 to the k here, are all the same notes. For example, the 1st, 2nd, 4th, 8th, and 16th partials are all C's. That's a C, that's a C, that one is 2, uh, the, one, the 8th one is a C, and this is a C as well. So we've gone up an octave every time we double it. So this one at three is a G. We double that, so the sixth, and double that again. The twelfth partials are also Gs here, here, and here. The fifth partial is an E, and so that means the tenth partial is also an E. So it would, so the twentieth would be too, and and so on. And so this is a C harmonic series for music. Okay. And so here are the letter names down here. So notice the, the perceived uh, <clears throat> distance between the notes is uh, getting smaller as we get higher up. So these are the notes that we get when we, when we do these uh, shorten a string by the... Uh, by harmonic series. A half of the string gives you this pitch. If this whole string gives you this pitch here, a half is going to give you this second partial. A third is going to give you this one. A fourth of the string will give you this one. A fifth of the string will give you this note. That E, this G is a sixth of the string will give you the sixth partial. Also, uh, I'm I'm a brass player. I uh, This is very important to me because these will be the notes I can play with one fingering. Uh, once I put my horn in the key of C, um, then these would be the notes that I could play all open without without changing the length of the instrument. So the notes in the harmonic series are all uh, are those notes. So here's here's a uh, harmonic series based on a low low A here, the second lowest A on the piano. A two is this note right here, and so you can see this laid out, and there they are on the keyboard. And here you can see them. If the K is the frequency of the lowest one, which is 55 hertz, that is uh, vibrations per second, then you can see these, the pitch of all of these others. You can see the frequency and the pitch. So, uh, you know, A, A2 is the lo second lowest A on the piano. A3 is the next, the third lowest A on the piano. I'm using that notation for the octave designations. Here are the pitches, the note name in which octave it's in, the frequency there, 
and those are worked out. Okay. And you actually have an arithmetic sequence here, just adding k each time when we're going up in terms of what's happening to the frequency. You're just adding a uh, multiple is just multiples of k. But if you do the, the length ratios, you get the harmonic series right there, or harmonic sequence. And if you do the interval ratios from one to the previous one, they're worked out here. They're simple fractions, fractions with small, kind of small numbers there. And I've worked those all the way out up to the 32nd partial. This is what's, this is a pure harmonic series uh, tuning of these things. If you did exactly those positions on a string, not necessarily on a piano, because a piano is not tuned that way. When you do uh, frequency ratios uh, here, the half step ratios, if we go up, say, to the, uh, pull these up to uh, uh, go to the 16th to the 32nd partial, we have basically the notes, notes that we can pull for a scale, chromatic scale here. And these ratios here are not all the same. So it's the perceived ratio that you, you hear as the, uh, is the difference in pitch. And so here what happens is because these are very uneven, uh, we don't re typically use this for our, for our music. But it will make the best chords. If you actually line these all up, it'll make the most consonant chords if you actually uh, tune them according to harmonic series. So what we do instead is instead of a uh, harmonic series, we actually use a geometric series or geometric sequence. What we do is we figure out a half step as being, um, well, the fundamental idea is that if, when you double the pitch, you get the same note. So if the pitch one is uh, 880 uh, hertz for this for a particular A, then doubling that to 1760 hertz will give us exactly one other A. But they want, in Western music, we divide that into 12 different perceived different uh, pitches so that we want the uh, the the ratio but from one term to the next to be one twelfth of that so it's it's the twelfth root of two is what we want so if we take the twelfth root of two and multiply that by the previous pitch that gives you the pitch of the next one and multiply by the square twelfth root of two to get the next one so now we have a, a geometric sequence f f s f s square f s cube and so forth and of course, when you get f s to the twelfth, you've just done twice f, and you're at a full octave. Okay, and so uh, we can get the length ratio to a there, which is not a, a really nice fraction now, and one uh, one half step is a hundred cents. and so you can see the half step ratios here, of course, all perfectly the same. They're perfectly uh, the square root of two each. So we get a very even scale, but it's a little bit out of tune with what's called just tuning, which is a kind of a variation on the on the Pythagorean tuning. Or well, there's, that's another thing too, there's Pythagorean tuning, but there's, it's, a, it's a, a slight variation of the um, harmonic series tuning. And we're a little bit off here. And knowing these is, can be important for a musician because if you were playing a, mus a musical instrument by which you have the ability to change pitch, like in a trombone slide or a string on a, on a string instrument, uh, you can know about these things here and bring your, bring your uh, chords more in line with a harmonic series tuning than what you get here. However, the thing that's really nice about this tuning is you can take a piano, which is once you tune it, it's, it's set. And by tuning it like this in this equal temperament, then you can, it's sort of not perfectly in tune for any key, but it's equally equally in tune, equally out of tune for all keys. And so that allows you to uh, uh, play in different keys, to modulate from one key to another, uh, and move around and still, and still sound pretty good. So you're probably uh, 
our ears are used to this as well. But a really good string quartet, for example, can play closer to closer to this harmonic series tuning for certain notes to get those chords a little bit better in tune. Now, you're not going to be tested over this music theory material, uh, at least not in my class. I just thought it might be interesting to you. And the basic concepts of this were known to the Pythagoreans who founded both music theory and uh, did a lot of mathematics. And they considered actually music theory as a branch of mathematics. And certainly you're familiar with the theorem about right triangles named after their founder, Pythagoras of Samos, who lived around 570 to 490 BCE. <clears throat> So in the next video, we're going to go over a summary of basic characteristics of name sequences and we have studied so far, along with the information about their finite and infinite series based on them, including arithmetic, geometric, P, and telescoping. <coughs>